Let's learn about our AID today. Let's assume that this packet of balls is a document and the colored balls are data packets. Now we store data packets in a disk drive, one by one. But what happens if we run out of space or if there is an actual calamity? We run the risk of losing our data. This is where RAID comes in. RAID allows you to take a collection of storage disks and configure in such a way that the computer recognizes them as a single disk. With RAID 1, we mirror our drives. We store the same data twice, across two or more disks. That's why the redundancy. The downside is that there is a low optimization of space, this brings us to our AID 0. To avoid redundancy, we can store unique data or separate data packets in separate storage disks. This is faster and also optimizes space. In RAID 0, we store data packets across three disks. All disks have unique data packets. The problem is that if we lose one disk or data packet, we lose the whole data set. This brings us to RAID 5, where we, like RAID 0, store data in different disks, but also create parity data so that if we lose one disk, we can recreate whole data set. There are many other types of RAID. We will address them some other time. Till then stay tuned and thank you.